right, guys, today is the day. We are going to de shed this beautiful husky mix. This coat is coming out. Look at this. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to show you the easiest and safest way to de shed a husky or a husky mix. Kimber, we're so glad that you're willing to help us today. This dog is so smart and so beautiful. I just love her. Let's get to it. Guys, I gotta show you how easy this is gonna be. I'm not even pre-brushing her. Most of this de-shedding is gonna happen in the tub and this is the easiest way to do it. I could sit here and comb all this out, but I'm gonna show you a better way to do it that's easier on you and an easier way on the dog and very effective. I'm using a Prima bathing system and I'm just gonna work the shampoo all the way into the skin. Just moving it slightly out of the way and getting all the way down into the skin. That's what we want to do because we want to get all that loose coat clean by applying shampoo to it and then it's just going to simply slide right out of the coat. I mean it literally already is. I'm Amy Lee. I am a certified professional pet groomer since 2003. I am also a content creator on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel called Go Groomer and on that channel I bring a new voice to the pet grooming industry. One that includes pet owners as a valuable consumer. By sharing my secrets of the pet grooming industry on my YouTube channel, it allows me to give pet owners the opportunity to provide quality care for their beloved pets at home, increasing value to their pets' lives, as well as increasing the bond they share with their pet. It's pretty awesome. This is such a secret to de-shedding a dog is to actually clean them while you're de-shedding and it will just allow all that undercoat that's just hanging in there, it's hanging in the coat, it will allow it to slide right out. Just like magic. Awesome. This dog is going to look so amazing. I can't wait to show you. So if you don't have a bathing system, that's fine. Then you would just use a mixing bottle, dilute your shampoo as suggested, and hand wash your dog. So now we only have shampoo in. I'm going to start just loosening it up a little bit with the comb. You can see <laughs> it's just falling out. And this also keeps it nice when we're force drying. We're going to have most of the undercoat under control before we even get to the drying process. I'm also going to use a tub brush. The tub brush is a brush that I used to use on my day-to-day -day professional grooming, but it has started to become a little tattered or beat up, and then it becomes my tub brush. And this is literally pulling all this undercoat out of this husky. After we completely wash her, and brush and comb her. Then it's time to thoroughly rinse and add some conditioner and one final comb through. And I'm gonna show you all the hair that we're gonna get out of this beautiful coat. And there's no reason to use harsh tools. Just a brush and a comb and shampoo and conditioner, guys. I, I promise you, it's amazing. If you can, purchase a force dryer for your double-coated dog. It's highly recommended and very beneficial in the de-shedding process of your dog as well. I'll be showing you in a minute how we are going to use a force dryer to polish the look on this baby. And she's gonna look, she's gonna look like a show dog, no doubt about it. Her coat is going to be amazing. A nice thing about the Prima bathing system is that it's so easy to get into wherever, wherever you need to get into to clean your dog. It's basically doing all the work for you. And it literally is doing all the work for the, and in this D-shed, guys, oh my word. And don't forget, Prima Bathing System is available to everybody. I'll link it in the description below. This is the best bathing system on the market, and I'm not affiliated with Prima. I just love the system.
and I want you to have the best results too. Whether you're a home groomer or a professional groomer, it is the best bathing system on the market. Good job, Kimber. Holy moly, the fur's are flying. The fur is flying. I know, <laughs> yeah, it's a good girl. Yeah, this is the easiest way to de-shed your husky or double-coated breed, guys. Look at this. We haven't even got to the conditioning process yet. And when you're brushing your dog and their skin is wet, just be careful. Don't brush too hard. Let the brush pull all this coat out all by itself. You don't have to force it. It's gonna come out, trust me. This dog is gonna look about 20 pounds lighter too when we're all done. But you can clearly see how easy this is. Good job, and I'm just brushing with the lay of the coat, the direction the coat naturally lays. Good job, Kimber. Yeah, that's quite a de-shed. Nice job. It's just going to continue to come out, and that's good. We're going to work this until it's all out. There'll be hardly anything left to de-shed by the time we get to the drying process. Now notice, I'm not pre-wetting Kimber. And whether you're using a premium bathing system or not, I suggest you apply your shampoo and conditioner on your dogs, either with a loofah and massage it through, or by hand with the type of tub scrubby. Apply it to a dry coat and work it through because the first thing in contact with a dirty coat, if it's some type of cleanser, it's really gonna adhere to the dirt and it's gonna allow your dog to get cleaner. So that's a little tip. So no pre-rinsing your dog necessary. Even if the bottle says so, it's a little bit of an industry secret. I always let my shampoo sit on the dog for about four or five minutes just to allow it to get in there and marry up with any dirt and grime in the coat, and it will. Good job, Miss Kimber. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere, Kimber. And the shampoo that I'm using in my Prima system is by Green Groom. It's the Odor Eliminator Shampoo. Soap-free, cruelty-free, 100% biodegradable, and it dilutes 32 to 1. This is a heavy dilution, and it cleans very well. And one thing I think is really cool about this shampoo, look here, it says handcrafted in small batches. This stuff is like liquid gold. It does a fantastic job. It not only de-sheds, it deodorizes and it cleans super, super well. And the fact that it has such a high dilution, it's so highly concentrated, you really don't need much. It goes a long way. A little bit goes a long way of this shampoo. In my Prima bathing system, this stuff saves me so much money. I, I don't use much at all in that system and I get suds like this. I mean, it's amazing. And getting the coat clean is the key to de-shedding any dog. If the coat isn't clean enough, you can't get all that dead coat out. There again, brush with the lay of the coat, guys. The way the coat naturally lays, oh, it's just sliding out. And I'd say just use your brush. Don't even go for the comb yet. We'll use the comb when we do the condition and I'll show you. It'll just show us what's left. I use just lukewarm water, almost a little on the cool side. It will help your dog de-shed, and it also will not irritate their skin as well as it... It doesn't open up the pores, and that's what we don't want, because there is a little bit of bacteria in the water, and if we used hot water, it would not only damage her skin, but it would open those pores and allow bacteria to maybe get in. If she had a slightly compromised immune system and we were unaware of it, it could be a bad thing. So cool water, lukewarm water, guys, when you're rinsing your dogs. 
now I've pre-mixed a conditioner in my mixing bottle and I'm just going to squeeze it on her because she is a husky. She just pretty much shook every bit of water out of her coat <laughs> and that's okay. So now we're going to massage that conditioner through. This is going to help us just finish off this de-shed, guys. Good girl. And massage it all through, okay? Because you're going to continue to get <laughs> shedding hair. This is what we want. We want the mess in here in the tub. All right, so that we can dry her much faster and this actually is just so much better for her skin to de-shed her in the tub like this. Get it all the way through to the skin, guys. Massage it through. Now you can take your comb or your tub brush and do the same thing as we did with the shampoo in. Just brush with the lay of the coat. If you can't get a comb through, then use the brush. Sometimes huskies have a very, very thick coat and you may not be able to get a comb through gently. And if you can't, then go for your brush. It's gonna do the same thing. It's just pulling out the dead hair, preferably an old slicker brush because it will grab that undercoat and pull it out. Good job. And this would be the same procedure if you had a Labrador or a Golden Retriever or a Bernice Mountain Dog or any double coated dog. Even a Pomeranian. And thoroughly rinse guys. Rinse until the water runs clean off your dog. So the water running off your dog is clear. That means there's no more product left in her coat. It's very important to over rinse guys. Don't forget there's pet wash stations that you can take your dog to if you can't do this at home, where you can wash them and properly de-shed them in the tub. They are truly a lifesaver. And your dog's skin and coat is never gonna ever look this good if you, if you don't do this. This is the way to perfect this, this coat, to keep that undercoat in check. And it will stay nice for six weeks. Trust me, this is the way to properly de-shed a dog. I'm not using any tools, but a brush, a comb, shampoo and conditioner. I'm gonna be using a force dryer in a minute, but I have already de-shed this dog. The force dryer is definitely a benefit, but if you don't have a force dryer or don't feel like purchasing one, I highly recommend it. I'll link one below. But if you don't have one, the secret is in the bath. Just what I just showed you guys. I can't wait to hear the results this produces for you at home. If you try this, please leave me a comment and let everybody know how it worked for you so we can share together. Here's another secret, guys. I use absorber towels. That's good that she's shaking. They will shake most all of the water off of them, this breed. Uh, but I do use absorber towels to pull all the water out of the coat. Oh, you feel so nice. It's good that she's shaking. She literally is getting all this undercoat ready to fly that's left when we force dry. If you don't have a force dryer, you could go through her right now and brush her after you've toweled her off and she's still damp. You would get globs of hair again. You would have great success in de-shedding if you didn't have a dryer by just going through and brushing her right now while she's damp. So I'm gonna show you how much water I pulled out of this girl with this absorber towel, how much is soaked into this towel. It's craziness. These are linked below. I use them every day on every dog. They're easy to clean and they pull so much water out of the coat and cut down on your drying time. It's incredible. I'm going to wring it out and show you what we got out of her. Just roll it up. And give it a squeeze. All this water came out of this Husky's coat. So you can see how this will definitely cut down on your drying time. 